CJ Appenzeller. What's up, that right? Yeah. My man Dylan Marone. What's good, yo? What's going on, man? All right, uh, it's the week before the fight. Uh, yeah. Thomas Cornflake with mine to return, so uh, March 11th. Yes, sir. Uh, how was camp? Uh, camp was awesome, man. On our end, from a strength and conditioning perspective, this guy came into camp more than ready, more than we've ever seen him ready at the start of the camp. So it was really an easier camp for us in terms of laying the foundation, starting at, you know, block one, two, or three instead of zero, like we would normally start a camp for a regular fighter. But as we know, Thomas Corflake Lamont is no regular fighter. Dill, four fight winning streak, a move up to 160. Now this is where he's going to be. What kind of Thomas Lamont can we expect? So, uh, like CJ said, you know, like he's been putting a lot of work in in the gym. You know, he's been taking care of him, you know, every day, coming in, busting his ass, you know, all the time. So we can expect some good things from him. He's in uh, probably one of the best shape I've seen him in a while. So I expect him to come out uh, really hard, really hard, really fast in the first uh, early rounds. Now, CJ, he's made that gradual move from 147 to 154 yep. to 160. Yep. What's the biggest difference between 147 pound Thomas Lamana yep. and the middleweight Thomas Lamana? The power potential, right? Now, at this middleweight, Thomas can access all the power, I think, that he's always had. But now coming to the fight full, coming to the fight ready, as strong as he's been, and carrying as much muscle as he ever, as or ever has before, all of a sudden now we can access some of that pop. And that's what I'm excited to see in this fight. All right, Dill, you worked with him in his first title fight, right? So now he's back number five in the WBA. Who would you like to see him in the ring with if he's successful March 11th? March 11th. Oh, man, that's a, that's a hard question. Uh, there's a, there's a bunch of fighters I would like to see him go up against. Because like CJ said, you know he's a, he's a great fighter. Um, he's always fighting. Um, he's always the best uh, when he's in the ring. So I would like to honestly see him. I would like to see him against Danny Garcia. I would possibly like to see that fight. I think I think Flake really, you know, he has the tools. He has everything he needs to be able to uh, take that fight to the next level. I think I think he'll do well. CJ, you rocking with that one? Yeah, I love that fight, man. I love that fight. I love keeping it local, too. So, What you think of? AC or Philly? Yeah, we gotta go Philly. Got absolutely, yeah, absolutely, absolutely gotta go to Philly. Philly? Yeah, come yeah. on. Okay, I, I, I like it. Who, who you got in that fight? Oh, I know you gotta be biased. Come on, man. I'm 100% biased, but you know I got Thomas Lamada, baby. Absolutely. I'm saying yeah. right there with him. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate it. Thank you.